everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be checking out these hot and spicy Firewalk sizzling rich pork flavor uh, noodles. So no added MSG. These are not supposed to be as hot as the other ones. So we're going to find out and I'm also going to tell you how you can take these camping when you don't have a microwave. Check it out guys. Okay, so um, I think this will be the last one we have for a while unless I find, or well actually Monkey finds some more. I don't know, she's, I think she's going shopping today so. <laughs> uh, this has one, two, three, four of the six uh, peppers lit up there. So um, I'll give you the nutrition facts here if you want to pause it and read the nu nutrition facts on here. Oops, sorry about the glare. Okay, so savor the flavor, satisfying. Hearty noodles inspired by rich Japanese pork bone broth and spice up and spiced up with a kick of chili pepper infused sauce. Try our other flavors. They got the scorching sesame shrimp, which like I said, a monkey would have to do that because I, I don't care for shrimp. So I couldn't tell you if it was any good or not, but it's got five out of the six lit up. And we done the molten chicken flavor, the molten chili chicken flavor. Um, so hopefully they'll have some more out. And like I said, I'm going to show you how I do it. I'll read the microwave instructions for you just in case the you haven't. microwave have... oven is Raytheon Reed Orange. That's weird. I am quite unusual. That's true. Huh. She just starts talking for no reason all of a sudden. Okay, the microwave, in case you haven't seen it, the microwave directions. Remove lid. Take out seasoning vegetable pouches. Then empty both packets onto noodles. Set aside fire sauce packet. Add room temperature water to inside fill line. Place a microwave center microwave uncovered for five minutes on high. That's a thousand watt microwave. Let stand for one minute. Empty fire sauce onto packet. On fire sauce pack it on to noodles stir and enjoy cooking times vary with microwave wattage okay now we've done the other ones exactly the way they say but like i said the other style of these just the hot and spicy ones like i said i've all i've just always poured in hot hot water from the tea kettle and let it set for four minutes what i've always done so i'm going to show you how you can do that because I didn't notice any difference in the flavor or you know how the noodles are cooked or anything like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open this up just like I normally do I usually open it about halfway all right and I'll take out these pouches Ooh, okay this is a wow look at that <laughs> okay all right so we're gonna go ahead I've already got some water heated up over here in the tea kettle I did that beforehand and we're going to go ahead and just dump this in there and we'll do our um, flavor or our uh, dry ingredients package here we'll just dump that in there then what I do guys I just uh, I just take my my tea kettle here like I said it's already it's already been whistling at me so and I fill it up to the line, like it says. That's where I always thought you did it. And then I close that up. And what I usually do is I'll put my fork on top of here. And I'm going to let it set for four minutes. So I'm going to do that. And I will be back with you guys in four minutes. So hang tight and we're going to give this a shot. Okay, everyone. We're back. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh, nice. All right. Now that smells yummy just like that I'm sure you could eat it just like this if you wanted or I mean for buck throw your own stuff in if you'd like I'm not sure what the green stuff is on that 
but so let's go ahead and stir this up now we're going to add our fire sauce <laughs> that looks really red I don't know if the, how well the camera's picking that up but okay <coughs> excuse me get our scissors here now while I'm doing this we got some special coming up for Halloween video uh, next month it will be uploaded the week of Halloween probably that Monday um, uh, Halloween's on a Sunday I believe so that Monday we will be up well I will be I'm sure she will be too uploading a video we are going to St. Augustine Lighthouse but the cool part is we're going after dark I've, we've been in that lighthouse before but it's been daytime we've been to a couple different lights, lighthouses but it's always been daytime so we're going to go at night and we're going to take a tour it's like an hour and a half to two hour tour talk about the place and they're going to ooh, <laughs> nice they're going to uh you know tell us the history about it and why it's haunted apparently ghost hunters did that taps uh, i never seen that episode. Uh, I quit watching them a long time ago for a couple different reasons, which we're not going to get into right now, but, um, wow. But, um, ooh, oh, man, that smell is something else. So we're going to go do that. We're going to do something live Halloween night. We're not sure what yet, but we'll figure something out. If you got any suggestions... Please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. So I'm going to stir these up real good. But that should be fun. We're going to we're going to spend the night over there at a place called Anastasia Campgrounds. We're just going to do an overnighter there. And uh, um, what we'll do is uh, we'll film some of that for you. But if we like it, we'll... We'll make plans to go back and do like a three or four nighter and uh, check it out. So, but it's on the beach. I guess it's right by the beach. You can't camp on the beach, of course, but it's, you know, the beach is right there. So that should be pretty fun. So I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, so it's still pretty hot. I've got it all mixed up nice and good. Is that how you say that? Nice and good or is it nice and well? <laughs> I've got it mixed up well. How's that? Okay. Uh, hopefully, I've got my shotgun mic on here. Hopefully, you don't hear any chewing noises. If you do, I apologize in advance for that. But let's give it a shot. It shouldn't be as hot as the other ones. They were, they were pretty damn hot, guys. So let's give this a try. Okay, there's heat there. Um, I don't know. Let me get another bite of this. The flavor, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be my favorite. Um, it is hot. There's heat there. You can feel it. You can taste it. Um, it's not as hot as the other ones by any means. I'm going to call this not quite a medium, but it's not mild either. But, you know, our flavors, of course, differ. So, um, yeah, it's okay. Um, heat index, I'll give it a 7, because uh, it's not real hot, but it's not supposed to be. Um, I'm satisfied with the heat. To me, like I said, it's kind of a mild. My mild and your mild may differ. But uh, as far as flavor goes, 
it to me you know you you might like it but to me i don't care for it i'm only going to go there is a lot of flavor here but it's not a flavor that i like um you can taste the pork and stuff i don't know if that's spinach if that is spinach that might be why i don't like it uh i'm giving the flavor a four and a half uh what let me see if i can see what it says on here about the uh the dry ingredients um oh well, it's got all kinds of stuff in it it's got thyme i like thyme rich flour wheat of course that's for the uh For the noodles. Sesame seed oil, sunflower oil, rice bran oil, <laughs> palm oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, textured soy protein. That could be what it is. I don't care for soy. I'm <laughs> green onion. Dried wood ear, mushroom. I like mushrooms. I like green onion. Egg white, garlic powder. I don't know. It must be the... Uh, it's got chicken broth in it. Corn starch, corn syrup. Green onion, dried wood ear. I don't know, but... If it's got soy in it, that might be why. I don't like it. Huh. All right, well, I don't care for it. Like I said, I'll give the flavor a four and a half because it does have a lot of flavor. Just not a flavor that I care for. I thought there was something in there. Um, yeah, I there's just something about that flavor I don't care for. I'll save it for Monkey, see what she thinks of it, but, you know, that's my review on it. It, it must be the soy. There's just some... There's a flavor in here that I don't like. I can taste the pork. I like that. I can taste the green onions. There's a hint of garlic in here. But there's something in here that I can't put my finger on that I just, I don't care for. I don't like. So, you guys may like it. Uh, I mean, I say for a buck, give it a try. You never know. Give it a try. I'm not saying don't buy this. I'm not trying to turn you off on it. My review is that. I don't care for this particular one. I've liked all the other ones. And like I said, the shrimp, I, I know I won't like because I don't like shrimp. I don't care for that. I mean, I would eat it if it was an emergency situation, but um, I just to sit and eat, I, I don't care for shrimp. Um, this one, so whatever's in it that I don't like, <laughs> that's why I don't like it. So it, it could be the soy. I don't care for soy. Um, I, I like soy sauce, <laughs> but that's not what they're talking about. It's, you know, like soy burgers and soybean. I don't care for soybean. A friend of mine calls it soy bean, but yeah, I just, uh, yeah, soy bean. Yeah, that's what it is. It's got soy bean in it, so that's why I don't, that's why I don't like it. I knew there was something in here I didn't like the flavor of, um, but like I said, by all means, give it a shot for a buck. Uh, you know, it's just my opinion. If you don't like soybean, you're not going to like this. Because you can taste it pretty heavy in there. I couldn't put my finger on it. And there it was. So, as soon as I seen the soy, I was like, oh, soybean, okay. Um, so, no, I, I went up. You know, I, I don't care for it. But, uh, but that's how you can do it. If you're camping, you don't need a microwave. Boil some water. Mix your stuff together, put it, fill it to the line, and let it set for four to five minutes, depending on how you like your noodles. Stir it up good, and it's it tastes just the same as it does in the microwave. The noodles are the same consistency, so, you know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I want to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Stay tuned for more awesome videos from myself and Monkey. And, uh... We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.